Hi, this is Ken Urban for CSC 125. Um, we're going to add a destructor to our linked list class. Um, when we go through and delete the whole thing, uh, or, or use the delete with it, it just physically deletes the space. So all we'll do is delete this address and this address, not all the information that's contained in all those links and where they're pointed to, stuff like that. So to build a destructor, um, first off, the destructor has a tilde, and then the name of it. So if you see this, right, that means it's the destructor. And this is the function that's called when I say, okay, unallocate memory. Like the constructor is called whenever we allocate memory. The destructor is called whenever we deallocate memory. So it's going to call this function. We'll go stick it over here in the linked list class. And it's a member of the linked list class. That doesn't change. But we need to put that in here. Uh, it's not the same code. Um, and what we want to do is we want to go through the entire list and um, delete them. Right, we have this sort of loop here which goes through the list. So I'm going to just use that as the beginning. Um, and let's re-indent it so we'll see. Okay, um, it's a member of the class. So I'm going to set um, pointers in my head and then while the pointer is null, so that in this case if the list is empty, pointer will be null and it'll skip over here. We shouldn't be printing things here. Um, and what we want to do is we want to basically delete where that pointer points. Um, the problem is that when I delete where that pointer points, I can't say, well, what's the next thing after that? Um, so I need to sort of hang on to that address. I guess I'll call it temp. Okay. And before I delete it, I'm going to say temp equals pointer get next. I'm going to have to sort of pull the information out of a node before I get rid of it. Then I can get rid of it. And then I can move along to the next node. Right, so I have this sort of extra piece in here, which it does it. Now I'm, I'm keeping track of the temporarily hanging on to the next one. I could also hang on temporarily to the one I'm going to delete. Okay, so now I have this loop, which goes through and, and logically gets rid of what we're storing in the linked list, not necessarily the physical data. Right? Remember, the physical data is just these two addresses, just two two chunks of memory, not all the other stuff that's in here. Right? So whenever I do new, somewhere along the line, I'm going to need a free. And here's where that free is, right? Because in my linked list, right, I'm creating all of these... Um, where are they? Oh, here they are, right? I'm creating all of these new nodes in my insert functions. Somewhere along the line, if I'm going to keep using it, I need to delete them. Right, so I don't end up with uh, memory leaks in my code. So here's um, the destructor, right, which logically goes through right, and clears out all of memory. Um, bye.